I don't know. These three words send some people into a panic. Not knowing can feel stressful. It seems like you aren't on the right track, or that maybe you're never going to figure out the solution to your challenge. And in the discomfort of not knowing, you avoid it like the plague. When the first answer to what do I want here is I don't know, you ricochet off the topic like a super ball and you avoid digging into it any deeper. But that's no way to find a solution. Digging for buried treasure. Imagine that you're a pirate digging for buried treasure and you land on a remote island, shovel in hand. You're looking to find the treasure chest of your answer. But as you begin to dig, all you're pulling up is dirt. Now imagine that you get all upset and stopped digging just because you pulled up a few shovels of dirt. That would be crazy. Of course you will scoop up some dirt. This is buried treasure after all. But we often react that way in our lives. When you don't know the answer to something, you stop digging. The digging takes effort. It's uncomfortable. This is especially true when you're wrestling with a big challenge. You may need to dig through more dirt of not knowing before you get to the gold of knowing. All of this to say if you let the first few instances of I don't know hold you back from seeking your answers, you'll never find it. And at the very least, it will take very much longer. The road to clarity starts with confusion. The misconception here is that not knowing is bad and knowing is good. And if one is good and the other is bad, that would mean they're the opposites. Like this, not knowing on one end and knowing on the other end. You are in the middle trying to avoid not knowing and always find yourself knowing. But that model is flawed. Why? Because not knowing always comes before knowing. So celebrate confusion. To put it another way, confusion precedes clarity, which means that confusion is actually a good thing because it means you're stretching your mind towards new levels of clarity. So the next time you find yourself saying, I don't know what I want here, celebrate that. It means you're on the right path and you have the courage to keep moving in spite of the confusion. You may find the clarity you're looking for on that very path. Moving through confusion to clarity. This is when you're looking for the treasure of your answer and you haven't found it yet. It's important to continue digging, but what does digging actually mean in real life? Well, you can think of it like mental exploration. This digging takes three main forms. I personally use journaling, conversation, and active contemplation. The key point with each of these is that you spend time curiously exploring potential solutions. Journaling is for clarity. Journaling is simple. Grab some paper and a pen. Ask yourself a clear question. What do I want here? Or what do I want in terms of blank? Write whatever comes to mind. It might start with, I don't know. Whatever it is, write it down. Maybe you have some ideas. Maybe they're really bad ideas. Maybe it doesn't matter. Journaling in this context is about free thoughts and free writing. Next, we need to practice non-judgment. You aren't examining every shell of dirt to see if it has the treasure. You're optimizing for the practice of digging. By committing to the process, you stay focused on what you can control in seeking your treasure. 
So write for a focused block of time, 20 to 20, 20 to 30 minutes. Avoid interruptions. Ideally, do this first thing in the morning when your mind is fresh and free from outside stimulus. If you find some treasure, amazing. And if you don't, amazing. Celebrate the continued confusion. Even if you don't find your clarity, you've won by practicing the skill of wading through the waters of confusion. It's not easy work, so give yourself a break and repeat this process at a later point in time. Clarity through conversation. Getting clarity through conversation is about talking through your challenges with another person. The most powerful version of this happens through coaching conversations with a skilled coach. A milder version of it can happen in a conversation with a friend, colleague, or family member. The act of vocalizing your challenge and exploring potential solutions is the equivalent of digging. There's no guarantee you'll find the treasure, but you're unearthing new possibilities by talking it out. But what if you don't have someone to talk to in your moment of confusion? Try talking to yourself. Grab your phone and record a video of yourself talking it out. It might feel weird, but it's helpful. Vocalizing your challenges and talking through potential paths forward is helpful by itself. You won't get feedback from another person, so re-watch the video as if it were sent from someone else to gain a new perspective. Active Contemplation for Clarity Compared with journaling and conversation, this is a more internal experience. It's objectively more difficult, and this is a productive meditation in a sense. The goal of productive meditation is to take a period in which you're occupied physically, but not mentally. Walking, jogging, driving, showering, and focus your attention on a singular, well-defined professional problem, as in mindfulness meditation. You must continue to bring your attention back to the problem at hand. When it wanders or stalls, you must be focused to rein it back in. As with the other methods, you want to eliminate as many external inputs as possible. This is about improving your inward concentration skills and turning over the dirt of your mind. Only by moving the dirt of your mind will you find treasure and improve in the process. So get your hands dirty, find your treasure, wrestle with a big challenge, or feeling confused or overwhelmed by not knowing the answer to some previous question. These are all great places to start and common ground for most of us. It's amazing, and it sounds like an opportunity for you to grow and to practice the mental exercise of digging for your treasure. So, create uninterrupted space for yourself. Pick one of the above methods and start digging. Focus on the mental digging itself, not the need to have an answer. Do not darken the page while you're journaling by seeking answers you do not currently have. And just stop when you said you'd stop and return to it later. Next level clarity and connection can happen by you taking these practices to the next level and getting proactive with them instead of reserving them as a defensive reaction to confusion. So go on the offense. Make a habit of connecting inwards to find clarity on your biggest challenges, opportunities, and growth edges. I will be sharing more about journaling in the future. Active contemplation is yours to play with. So regardless of your chosen approach, here's to you getting your hands dirty and unearthing some of that amazing personal treasure. As always, peace and love, Jim.